Hello, TransCat with you again. Do you want another review of, uh, I believe it's Voyager Class Starscream. Um, <laughs> this was one of my favorite characters in the original cartoon. I liked him in the, um, in the movie, in, in, the, in the 07 movie. I like his jet mode in the movie, that is. I didn't, however, really care for his, um, uh, robot mode in the movie, and that pretty much carries over to the Transformer. I will say this about it. His, uh, robot mode looks almost exactly like his, um, robot mode in the movie, which is one of the things I look for, but the trade-offs that it made to make that happen is just not good. I just, it's not good at all. I don't like it. But, um, what can I say about this? It's pretty cool. You'll notice, if, you, if you've seen this before, you'll notice that he has little missiles. And they're right here. Six of them. I haven't got them on him yet because, well, when he, these little bitty tiny buttons right here, right here shoot them off if, this, if you breathe on it, and so I really don't want to lose them, so I'll put them on them in his robot mode. Speaking of his robot mode, let's go ahead and get started with this transformation now. Do yourself a favor. You see these little wings right here? They pop off. They're going to pop off anyway, so you may as well go ahead and take them off right now. Believe me, you'll thank me later for it. Well, the first thing we can do is, let's go ahead and, well, that's another one of the things I don't like. You can see his legs clearly over here. I just don't like the way it's just, it gives away his robot mode in the jet mode. First thing you can do, though, is these little things flip open. Flip that open like that, and you go ahead and take his leg, which believe it or not, also likes to pop off. See this little part right here? Fold that out or you're going to be popping off all kinds of legs. There's one on both sides. Go ahead and pop it off. And go ahead and move this up like this. And then close that. The same thing over here. Take the leg out. And up. Close it down like that. So now he has his legs out here in front. Now let's go ahead and move these wings out the way for right now. Does that look better like that anyway? Go ahead and this thing comes unpopped. You want to take it's a, I don't know, it's kind of a weird cheesy landing gear. You fold that back like that. We need to review this peg, it'll reveal that peg right there. Then you kind of pop this down. That pops through the legs, and this tab attaches right here. Maybe. Yeah, it's right there. So his legs are working on it. Let's go ahead and get his arms unstuck and kind of put them to the side here. There's a little tab, I don't really I think I can show you right now, that they kind of stick on. Now his automorph, his automorph is pretty cool, but it's also the worst thing about this. It just it, causes all kinds of problems. It makes, if, if it hadn't already, you make sure these little wings, they snap right here. And you want to make sure they're unsnapped or your automorph ain't going to work. You take this up. You push it up. All the way up like that. Try to twist these little wings out the way for right now. And this right here, and it goes and kind of just pops on right there. You put this little part right here down, and you turn his head around. And now we're getting there. This little wing right here folds, folds back, fold like that, goes all the way back. Again, over here. Fold it 
all the way back, just like that. Then you get this right here, this right here. And now we're just about the end of the transformation. You go ahead and try to fold his bold legs out here. Fold his foot out there, fold his foot out there. And now, you see these two little... wings you took off, you go ahead and put them back on, on these little ball joint, little ball joint over here, and you just kind of turn them around, see, pops up on you every time. I'm going to leave it right there for now, because this is starting to tick me off. But, like I said, here you go. Here's his little bird-looking feet. Which, Michael Bay should be shot for making him like that. And you go ahead and put these little claws out right here. Here's his hands. <laughs> Not really his hands, but his claws. I believe he had that in the movie as well. And look at him. He's getting ready to fall down again. Imagine that. Now we'll go ahead and put on his go ahead and put on his web his missiles now so that I can shoot them off and lose them. Alright, they go one one at a time. There's also a little spot right here. You can put the missiles to right here. They'll be out of your way, but they like falling out of that. They look real junky, so let's go ahead and put them on the way they're supposed to be. And now, other than his bird-like leg that for some reason Michael Bay wanted to have here, I, his little bird-like leg with the weird kneecaps here, I like his, I like his robot mode quite a bit. It looks decent. These little flaps, as I mentioned up here, kind of suck, and I probably got them on backwards. <laughs> But I mean, it's got g pretty good detail. Little cockpit, you get the little details on the on the on the on the airplane right there. Go ahead and fold this back, and it's decent. Um, you turn it around, you know, it pretty much they didn't do anything for the back. All you got is like the little little supports, you know, from the mold. Uh, they could have done a little better on that. But you got your little wheels right here. That one is over here. And you turn these little wheels. There goes his. You know. Look at that. They all fought off. You see that? Great. Wow. 3D, right? <clears throat> Luckily, they all fell in my little drawer here, which is not a bad thing. Anyway, all in all, jet mode, I'd give this about a maybe a high five or a low six robot mode I'd give it probably about a judging that it looks quite a bit like the movie I'll go ahead and give it about a seven or an eight but like I said I really don't care for the way the legs are right here and I probably already repeated myself four or five times concerning that little feature but you get the point um... I don't know how easy this guy is to find anymore. They got a lot of his Walmart, not his Walmart, but his Target repaints. If I could find that one, I'd probably get it to go ahead and put him up, on my, put him up on my wall. You know how I like to open my toys and play with them. <laughs> not this one. 
All in all, I'll probably give this body about a six or a seven rounded out, you know, to his robot mode and his alt mode. If you can find him, go ahead and get him because I like Starscream myself and his little light piping right here. Unlike with Jazz, whose light piping is good and you can still see it through with a little bit of light that I have in the room. You gotta pretty much put a little pin light directly in his little light pipe and you get it to work with. I really can't rag on him too much for that because a lot of them have that. You gotta have the little light piping directly in it. But that's my review of um, Voyager Class Starscream. Hope you liked it. Thank you very much.